Hello, my name is Peter and I work at the Map House. You can find us either at themaphouse.com or better still, come and visit us here on our galleries in Knightsbridge, London. Today I'd like to show you this wonderful map of the North Pole by Gerhard Mercator, published in Amsterdam 1613. Mercator was a very important geographer who gave us Mercator's projection, which is what you and I see when we look at maps today. Bearing in mind that this is the North Pole in the 16th century, this map is a truly remarkable cartographical achievement. But now, its most fascinating feature is the mixture of legend, myth and fable that make up its composition. As you can see, Mercator mapped the area as four separate islands that drew waters from all the great oceans into a central whirlpool. At the centre of this whirlpool is the Rupes Nigra, the huge magnetic rock believed to be at the centre of the North Pole. Mercator once described this monolith in a letter to his friend, the English occultist and royal adviser John Dee, with the words, black and glistening, as high as the clouds. In the top left-hand corner, there is also a reference to the island of Friesland, a mythical island that appeared on maps from the 1560s to the 1660s. It is thought by some the name originally referred to Iceland, or Friesland, but was then drawn as a separate island, and therefore the myth was continued for a hundred years until explorers eventually discovered the truth. Another fascinating part of this map is the island described as being inhabited solely by female pygmies. One explanation for this description is early sightings of Lapland Eskimos. The females were often left on their own for hours while the men hunted, therefore these early sightings may have got spun into an urban legend. That such a great and revered cartographer as Mercator could reproduce so many myths and wild speculations on one map makes it a wonderful piece and gives a great insight into the pre-mapped world. And of course, one cannot ignore the wonderfully ornate engraving and beautiful contemporary colouring that make this such a fine example of early 17th century map making. We hope you enjoyed this short film and please remember that this is just one of over 10,000 maps we have here in the Knightsbridge Gallery. They cover all parts of the world and all periods of history.